Just like the congruent triangles XYZ and PQR, we have many other congruent triangles around us. The congruent triangles of the Great Pyramid, the bridges, the net climber at the playground, congruent triangles of the Jamaican flag, congruent triangles of the Eiffel Tower, and the list goes on and on. So we can find them everywhere, but can they help us? Let me share a story with you. Many years ago, there was a great emperor in France called Napoleon. He had many intelligent officers working for him. One of the officers used congruent triangles to calculate the width of rivers before crossing them. The officer stood on the bank of the river and marked the spot where he was standing. Then he lowered his cap until the farthest thing visible was the edge of the bank on the other side. On his mind, he conjured up a triangle with him as one side, the width of the river as one side, and the line joining his head and the other bank of the river as the other side. He then turned, dragging with him the congruent copy of this triangle. Then he noted the point on his side that was in line with the tip of his cap and his eye. The officer then paced the distance to this spot, marked it, and concluded that the distance between the two spots was the width of the river. Brilliant, isn't it? Just take a look around you and see if you can spot some congruent triangles.